it rings, you answer. Hello? But your phone can also pick up without making a sound and turn into a hidden microphone. You can hear everything that's going on around the room. It happened to the Kuykendall family. They've totally taken over her phone. And it was hard to convince authorities something was going on. I can't sleep at night. I don't do. I worry constantly. You found a bug in a phone. Tom Slavinsky How knows this happens. He's one of the leading experts in the U.S. who trains private detectives, law enforcement officers, and members of the military on phone forensics. How to flush out spyware and go after the hackers. Even though you think you won't find anything, you might want to go ahead and look at it. Take the risk. This is the first intense training like this offered in the country as a network begins to build of professionals to tackle this growing problem. There has been a definite increase in the uh, the quality and the numbers of companies that are offering cell phone spyware that I've seen in the last so uh, three years or so. Spyware works fast. If you're at a bar like this, talking with your friends, getting busy, and you put your phone down here, it only takes the creep five minutes to download software, taking hold of your phone and turning it into their personal spying device. You go to bed at night, the, the guy you're dating, you're asleep, you're a deep sleeper, he takes your phone five minutes later, now he can stalk you. Now there's something that's a little interesting. As our expert looks over my phone for trouble, we learn it's expensive to get it checked. 150 to 700 bucks. Will law enforcement check my phone or do I have to come to somebody like you? I don't know of any law enforcement agency in South Carolina that checks cell phones for individuals. If you don't have that kind of cash, you can always get the phone reset if you want to keep that phone. Uh, take it back to where you bought it from, ask them to reflash the phone, or you can go into the phone and you can reset it to where it will return it to its state when you first bought it. That's one way to eliminate mm -hmm. the spyware. Corporations are getting worried about guarding secrets shared in important meetings. There's only one fail-safe way to do that. If you're having an important meeting or something that you definitely don't want anything to get out about, is to actually move the battery from your phone. That's the number one thing to do. Protecting your phone from a spyware attack is free and simple. If you simply put a password on your phone, it's going to protect you from the majority of what's out there. And it's four digits, boom, boom, and you're in.